Today we will be working on square one art. It is square one art time. That's right, we are participating in a fundraiser where your artwork can be featured on any of the items seen here. What you will do in art today is practice drawing a picture that can and will be featured on one of these items or objects. You are able to purchase these later in October. The catalog will come back with the art you have created in our class and you can order one of these items with your picture on it. What you see here is not what you will order. The object is what you can order, but your very own artwork will be on that item. So for example, a flag. If you, whatever you draw in class, you can put it on a sticker, a flag, a tile for the wall at school and any of the items pictured here will be featuring your artwork. Last year we drew a self-portrait for Square One Art. This year you may also draw another self-portrait for Square One Art. You do not have to draw a self-portrait, but if you would like to, the instructional video is online and on YouTube for you to practice drawing that self-portrait. You may do that in class for your rough draft. If you would like to draw a picture of your family, I think that would be a great idea for Square One Art. You can draw a cartoon or realistic version of your own family. Make sure that you include your family members, family animals, or even put yourself in an interesting location. If you would like to learn how to draw certain people, members of your family, different types of animals, there will be a video online that will help instruct you how to draw your family for Square One Art. At the beginning of the year, we learned how to draw school supplies. If you would like to draw school supplies for Square One Art, you may do that as well. This year, I am allowing you to also choose to draw whatever you would like. If you would like to draw something of your very own, you may do that. But you do have to consider the design. I have to check your artwork in a rough draft before you put it on the final paper. Consider to fill in the whole space for this project. Don't leave a lot of white empty space. So if you're drawing what you want, Ms. Highland has to check it first. There are a few things you are not allowed to draw for Square One Art. The first thing is copyrighted material. So images or symbols, OU, OSU, those are not allowed because they're copyrighted, which means those images are owned by that corporation or that animation studio. Spongebob, Pokemon, anything you see on movies or television you're not allowed to draw. So remember copyright is important and you're not allowed to draw anything copyrighted. That is illegal. So you have to come up with your own ideas. Now animals, yourself, a house, things that come from your imagination, that's fine. You can draw anything you want as long as it's not copyrighted. There's also another rule. You're not allowed to use colored pencils for square one art because they're very hard to see when the product is printed on the final paper. Please use crayons or markers only. Again, no colored pencils. The company will not accept colored pencil artwork, but it will accept crayon, color pencil, or paint. So those are the supplies you're allowed to use. No colored pencils allowed. This is an example of a job well done for Square One Art. This is a completed piece of artwork. It's outlined with a Sharpie. All the space is colored in completely. It's very neat. This would be a great example to put on something you can order. If you're interested in drawing something like this, there is an online video tutorial for you to watch. An example of something not well done would look a little something like this. This project, project is not complete. It only has one color. There's a lot of white space left and the idea is not very creative. This would not look very good on a piece of um, product to order to keep forever. I really want you to think creatively and to fill in that space with a good idea. Think about your process and what you're making. Spend time on your rough draft before you rush to complete it. Think about something you would want to keep forever. This is not a good example for Square One Art. Happy drawing! I can't wait to see your designs!